Hi everyone, it's Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the Walking the Dog for Dolls um, clothing pattern from Red Heart. This is a free pattern, and I will leave a link so you guys can access it right down in the description field. And what you're making in this pattern is the cute little dog with the leash, the boots, the sweater, the hat, and then wrist warmers. So, and I just thought that this was such a cute pattern and it fits fall perfectly. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is a scissors, two crochet hooks, one that is size I and the other one that's size G, or the hooks that you need to obtain the gauge. And then for the yarn, you'll need gray, white, black, and then in the actual pattern they used green for the jacket and a turquoise up on top for the hat, but I am going to use mauve in place of those two colors because I, I prefer pinks and purples versus the greens and blues. But um, of course all the exact colors that Red Heart uses is in their pattern. So let's get started stitching. You are going to first start with your eye hook and the color that you're going to use for the coat, which would be hunter green, I believe, in the pattern, but I will be using mauve. And then, of course, you're also going to need some three buttons later on to finish the coat. Okay, so you're first going to want to start making a slip knot. So you make a loop with the yarn. I hold on to it with my thumb. Bring the yarn behind so it kind of looks like, a pr like you're making a pretzel. And then I just slip my hook under the first under the second and over the third and you just pull tight there you have your slip knot and the pattern says that we're gonna start by chaining 39 stitches so you yarn over pull through the loop that's chain one oops two three four Five. After you have all your 39 chains made, you will start on row one. And row one is going to be the wrong side of the coat, but you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook, which would be this one right here. So you yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. And that's our first single crochet. And then we are going to single crochet in each chain across, and there will be 38 single crochets in this row. So you want to put your look, loop put your hook through the next loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop on the hook. So there's two loops and then yarn over again and pull through the two remaining loops on your hook. All right. So I have four chains made, and I'll come back when I have all my single crochets finished. Okay, once you have all your 38 single crochets done, you want to turn your project. And then we are going to start row two, which will be the right side of the jacket. And we're first going to chain one. And then it says to single crochet and each single crochet across. So we will have 38 single crochets in this row when we are done. I have completed row 2 and I did get 38 single crochets. So next what we're going to do is turn again and we are going to chain one and we are going to single crochet in each row across and this is going to be row three and we're going to keep doing this for a 19, so it would be 17 more times, no, 16 more times. And we will have 19 rows of a single 38 single crochets going across. So we finish row 2, we're going to do row 3. Once you finish row 19, you're going to stop. And I am going to come back when we get to that point so I can show you how to make the right front side of the jacket. Okay, I have finished the 19 rows. 
So you should have 19 rows of 38 single crochets stitches each. So you got this nice rectangular panel and this is the wrong side that's facing us. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn and this is the right side and we're actually going to start the right front side and what you're going to do is chain and then we're going to single crochet in the next eight single crochets and this will be row 20. You can hear Biscuit barking in the background. I have no idea what she's excited about. <laughs> and eight. Okay. So I got eight single crochets. And like I said, this is the right side. And then for rows 21 through 25, we are going to turn this for row 21, we're going to chain 1, and this is going to be the same for 22, 23, 24, 25, and all we're going to do is single crochet across, so we're going to have 8 single crochets in each row. So I just completed row 21, and I will come back when I've completed all 25 rows. So I finished row 25, and I still have my 8 single crochets, and this is again the wrong side of the jacket, but we're going to turn for row 26, we're going to chain 1, and then we single crochet 2 together. So what you do is you go into your first single crochet of the previous row, you pull up a loop, and then you want to go into the next single crochet of the previous row and pull up another loop. So you have 3 loops on your hook and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three loops and that is a single crochet two together and then we're going to single crochet and the remaining stitches across so you will have a total of seven single crochets in this row when you're done Okay, so this is the row 26. I got my single crochet two together, and then I have my um, six remaining just plain single crochets in the row, so which equals seven single crochet stitches. And now we're going to do row 27. So I'm going to chain one, uh, or turn my work and chain one, chain one, turn your work. It's the, really the same thing. And then I'm going to single crochet in the five single crochets of the previous row. One, two, three, four, five. And then you want to single crochet two together in the last two stitches on this row. So again, you're going to put your hook in, yarn over and pull through a loop, and then you're going to go into your last stitch of the row, of the previous row, and you are going to yarn over and pull through another loop to get three loops on your hook, and you are going to yarn over and pull through all three loops so you get your single crochet two together. And on row 27, you will have a total of six single crochet stitches. For row 28, we're going to turn and chain one, and we are going to single crochet two together again. So just like the previous rows. Oh, there we go. And then single crochet in the remaining four stitches. And we are going to get a total of five single crochets. Row 29, so you turn, chain one, and single crochet in the next three stitches. And 
and then single crochet the two together and that will give you four single crochets in that row. In rows 30 through 32 you're going to turn your work, chain one, and single crochet across So you have four single crochets, that's row 30. And that's row 32. And that is it for the right front side. And so what we're going to do is we're going to leave a long tail. And this is going to be used for when we seam the side later to the back. So we're going to cut here. And we're going to fasten off. So you just yarn over and you're going to pull the yarn all the way through. And there we go. So we just completed the right front side, and now we're going to do the left front. And how you do that is we're going to uh, make a slip knot again on our hook. And we are going to go back to row number 19, and we are going to place your hook through the row, yarn over, and you're going to pass the loop through all the loops that are on the hook. And we're, so that's how you join your yarn back to row 19. And I like to crochet over my ends so that way I don't have as many to weave in at the end of my project. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the left front of the jacket. And it's going to be the same as the right front for instructions. So we begin, like I said, at row 19. And we are going to repeat rows 20 and 32 of the right front section. So on row 20 we chain 1. And then we single crochet in the 8 stitches. So the first stitch is going to be the one that you joined your yarn to. There we go. And as you can see, I just have a little tail on the end here and then I'm just going to cut off. But otherwise my yarn has been completely crocheted over. So, But that's my 8 single crochets and this is row 20 of the left side. And like I said, we're going to repeat the right front side. So if you guys want to like back up the video and watch that again, I'm not going to repeat myself. But after I finish the left front, then I'm going to come back and show you how to work the back. Okay, once you have the left front side done, your piece is going to look like this and the next part is to stitch the back so you're going to want to take your eye hook again and make a slip knot like so and the instructions don't say but typically when you join yarn you want to join it with the wrong side facing you. So that's what I have is the wrong side facing me. And it says that you want to skip the first free single crochets, the first two. So not one, two, and we're going to go into the third um, single crochet that hasn't been stitched, which is this one right there. So I put my hook through, and I'm just going to make a quick slip stitch to join my yarn. And then, I am going to chain one, and this is going to be row 20 of the back. So, we are going to single crochet in 18 of the single crochets across. So 
So that's one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, I'm taking that tail that I had and I'm crocheting over it. That way I don't have to weave in all those ends at the end of my project. Okay, that was my 18th single crochet. And that leaves me two free single crochets on this end. So it's perfectly centered. And now we're going to complete rows 21 through 29. And all you do is you, you know, turn your work, you chain one, and you are going to single crochet across all the stitches you just made. So on rows 21 through 29 you should have 18 single crochets in each row and then we fasten off. So I'll come back when we will assemble the front to the back. Okay so I finished my row 29 on my back and I fastened off my yarn and I have the wrong side facing and as you can tell we got the front, the front, and the back. And then these slots right here are going to be the armholes. And so with right sides together, you're going to want to match up your single crochet from your back to your front. And you can take a crochet hook and do this, or you can take a tapestry needle like what I have. And we are actually going to sew the front to the back by going, passing the needle or your hook through these stitches and just drawing the yarn through and we're just going to go right along this top side of the front so it's only like four single crochets and this is assembling the jacket so we pretty much have the basic bones of this thing done um, what we have to do next is the collar and we also of course have the sleeves and we will attach the buttons too but and that's it that's how you stitch it together it's not that complicated and this is the wrong side like I said so when I turn it out and it's the right side you have the perfect flat sleeve and you're gonna do this on this side as well as this side and uh, yeah I made my tails really really long so um, I'll finish up assembling the other side and we'll be right back okay once you have the front assembled to the back you're project should look like this. The right side is facing out so the wrong side is on the inside and this is the way we're going to start when we are going to crochet the collar. And to do that you're going to switch to your G size crochet hook or the size that you needed to obtain the gauge. And we are going to join the yarn on the right front panel. So it'll be on when the vest is facing out be this side or jacket. It looks like a vest though. I mean seriously you could have your doll wear this as a vest. But um, row 26 is the row that bef right before we did the um, decreasing stitches of those single crochet twos. So we're going to join the yarn on the side of that row with a slip stitch. And then we are going to chain one single crochet in that same spot that we joined the yarn in and then we are going to single crochet along the sides of each row all the way up to row 32 so you'll have seven single crochets along the right front panel and this may be hard to see but I'm just inserting my hook into that free space on the side of the row pulling through a loop and then finishing off my single crochet. So that was three, four, five, six, and seven. That's the side of row 32. Now the instructions call for that we're going to single crochet along the back in 10 single crochets. So this would be the first single crochet that I start 
my work in. That's my first free single crochet. Just had to double check. So we're going to insert our hook. Now I'm trying to weave in my tails as I go, so this is a little tricky when it gets to be on a curve like that. But there we go. That's one. That's good. And now we're going to go along the left front panel. And we are going to make seven more single crochets, so one single crochet in the side of each row, starting with row number 32. So you should end at row 26 on the left front panel. And you should have a total of 24 single crochets made for row one of the collar. Now on to row two. We are going to chain one, so turn your work and chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in the first single crochet, and then we're going to complete two single crochets in the next single crochet, so you completed one, and then you're just going to go right back into that single crochet and repeat, complete a second single crochet. And then we are going to single crochet in the next 20 single crochets. So you should have two unworked stitches from the first row of the collar. What you're going to do is you're going to put two single crochets in the next single crochet. And then you are going to single crochet in the last stitch. So that will give you a total of 26 single crochets in row two of the collar. Now we are going to turn your work and this is going to be row three. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the first single crochet and we're going to work two single crochets in the next single crochet And then we are going to single crochet in the next 10 single crochets. Okay, after you finish those 10 single crochets, you're going to single crochet twice in the next stitch. And then you are going to single crochet twice again in the next stitch. And then you are going to single crochet in the next of the 10 stitches. So you should have two stitches left. So you're going to create two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet once in the last stitch. And that will get you a total of 30 single crochets for row 3 of the collar. So we're going to turn. We are going to chain 1. And on row 4 we are going to single crochet in the first single crochet. And then we will single crochet twice in the next single crochet. And then we are going to single crochet in the next 26 single crochets, so we are left with two stitches unworked. Then we'll two single crochet in the next single crochet, and then single crochet in the last single crochet. So this is really a repeat of row two, except that we are having to create more single crochets in the middle because we have more stitches to work. So I will come back after I've completed row four. After you've completed row 4, you should have 32 single crochets on the row. And now we're starting the 5th row. So we'll chain 1, single crochet in the first stitch. And then we are going to do a single crochet twice in the next stitch. And this is kind of repetition of row 3, except we are going to single crochet 
in the next 13 single crochets. We are going to single crochet twice in the next single crochet. Then we are going to single crochet twice in the next single crochet. Single crochet in the next 13 stitches. So you should have two remaining free stitches to work. And then you are going to complete two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the last stitch. And that's the end of row 5, so you should have a total of 36 single crochets. And this is the last row of the collar, row number 6, so we'll turn and we're going to chain and we are going to single crochet in each stitch across the row. So we'll end up having 36 single crochets in row 6 and then we're going to fasten off at the end of row 6. So I'll come back once I've done that.